Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to aim in Escape from Tarkov. Escape from Tarkov is known as a hardcore shooter and many people do find it challenging, especially when engaging other players. People will spray whole entire magazines at their enemy and they'll find that they only hit 2 or 3 shots out of the 30 round magazine and they question why it does that. This video is going to help answer that question. Consider is the placement of your optic on your weapon. For this AS Val, my optic is closer to the rear, and you can already notice that the sway isn't too bad when I'm strafing and moving forward and backwards or even just standing still. This changes, however, whenever your optic is closer to the front. You'll notice immediately that the sway is already higher, let alone whenever you're strafing or moving forward and backwards. The best solution to fix this problem is whenever you're ADSing, you press left alt and it steadies your gun temporarily. This will give you time to aim for your enemy's head and take the single shot that you need to kill them. Next thing we're going to talk about is finding your range of your enemy. The way to do this is you take a shot and you look where your tracer round goes, specifically tracer rounds. And if it goes above the target, your ranging is too high. If it doesn't hit the head or whatever you're aiming at, then it's probably too low. So let's say you think this guy is 250 meters away. It went over him, so clearly he's not. Let's readjust it, maybe make it 150. Take another shot. There you go. That is how you find your ranging. You just shoot once, get an idea, and then make your next best guess. Next thing I want to talk about is taking your time on your shots. When you're inside a stressful combat situation, the last thing you want to do is panic and spray a full mag. Because once that mag is gone, you have no extra rounds. You have to go and reload, and if you're in the middle of a firefight, you're probably going to die while reloading. The best thing you can do is take your time and tap. Aim for the head and take slow controlled shots until the enemy is dead. This is also helpful for taking out long distance targets with a reflex sight. You readjust and you just take your time on your shot. Wait for them to sit still. And he's dead. The next thing we will talk about is full auto. In CQC situations, full auto can be useful for wiping out a large crowd of enemies. When full spraying, you want to maintain short to medium distance from your engagement. That is where it's most effective. In CQC situations, a low recoil gun isn't necessary, so as long as you can full spray and still hit your enemy. This proves AS-12s and unmodded AK is very useful because of their high damage and somewhat high fire rate. This allows you to mow down armored enemies with ease. On the topic of close quarters engagements, we're also going to go over hip fire. Hip fire is relatively accurate and can be aided with a laser sight. An example of such would be the NC Star Blue Laser. I will now demonstrate the accuracy. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's relatively accurate. It's a somewhat close grouping for not ADSing at all. It's the same deal with fully automatic. That would definitely kill somebody. Of course, there is no need for a laser sight for hip fire. Relatively the same grouping from the same distance with a completely different gun except there's no laser. An example of combat with hip fire would be here. It's very useful for close quarters. It's also useful on weapons that are semi-automatic.
Definitely effective. Hip fire is by far one of my favorite methods of attack, and I use it more than any other mechanic in the game, including ADSing. Now we will talk about the recoil system in Escape from Tarkov. Your recoil control is determined by your recoil control stat and the vertical recoil and horizontal recoil stat of your weapon. When you have a very high vertical recoil and a really low recoil reduction stat, your time to control your recoil is a lot slower in comparison to a gun with very low vertical recoil and a character with a high recoil control stat. For example, this Val has very low recoil. Let's see how quickly it takes to actually start controlling it. Maybe after the first, like, I don't know, three rounds, it starts getting stable and starts making a clear grouping. Now let's look at an AK. Wrong mode. You can see a very clear difference in the grouping based on the vertical recoil stat, even though they're from the same distance. Another thing you can notice is my starting position and where the ending position is. I started here with the Val, and it only went up to here, while I started all the way down here with the Kalashnikov and ended up up here. This means that whenever you're spraying, you do have to control a little bit and pull down just a tiny bit to compensate for where you're aiming. For example, we go back here. That was a well controlled spray. See how the distance from the starting position and the end position isn't much? That's good. Here is a control spray. Very bad grouping, a constant vertical climb. Now, this is while we're laying prone. A much tighter grouping right here from the same distance from the same weapon. This can be applicable to full auto guns as well as semi-automatic. And that my friends was a generalized video on how to aim and escape from Tarkov. If you found this video helpful or enjoyable leave a like. If you want more content like this please subscribe. Otherwise have a good day.